Well, let me ask you something. Did you sleep well last night? Are you feeling refreshed today? Well, there are a lot of us that answer no to those questions more times than we would like. That is why I am talking with Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, so he can share his tips for getting a good night's sleep. And actually, doctor, before we get to the good night's sleep part of it, what is a lack of sleep really doing to us? Actually, it affects every organ system in every disease state. We know that it's harder to lose weight when you're sleep deprived. We know that diabetes is worse when you're sleep deprived. We know that blood pressure is worse than you're sleep deprived. But even not, cancer cells multiply faster the more sleep deprived you are. It affects everything you could possibly do. Um, and you know, the place that we oftentimes see it first is believe it or not in our skin and in the way we look. Well, of course, now we're hearing how much it can affect us. Uh, what is it that we can do to combat the lack of sleep? Well, you know, if we're looking at a lack of sleep here, there's a couple of different things. You know, one of the things that my patients tell me all the time is, gosh, I have a hard time falling asleep, turning off my brain, or sometimes even staying asleep. And so one of the things I've been talking about with a lot of people is creating the right sleep environment in their bedroom. So I think of it as sort of in the five senses. So you want, you know, as little light as possible, so as dark as you can possibly get it. You want it to be as quiet as you possibly can get it. Um, and, and you really want to have the right equipment for sleep. Good mattress, good pillow, good sheets. Uh, and then the, the last sense that people haven't really thought about a lot is actually smell or aroma and aromatherapy. And there's really good science behind aroma and aromatherapy to help for better sleep. And I have a feeling you have something uh, that can actually cover that for us. I do, as a matter of fact. So I just started working with This Works, and um, they have created a deep sleep pillow spray and a sleep plus pillow spray using all natural ingredients. It's clinically proven. And what's nice about this is you can just put it on your pillow. Your bed partner doesn't have to worry about it. You can breathe in this aroma, and this aroma actually causes a relaxation response in your body, which makes it much easier to fall asleep. Then they've also micro-encapsulated in the Sleep Plus pillow spray. And that one's particularly interesting because if you move around, it will actually undo, and then you get the scent again. So it can actually help you all night long. So we have uh, two different sprays, and how do I know which spray is the one for me? Well, I oftentimes tell people, look, if you're, if you're really not sure, then if you get the Sleep Plus pillow spray, you know you, you'll get some in the beginning of the night, and then it'll last throughout the entire evening. Um, but if you have a hard time primarily falling asleep, then just getting the Deep Sleep pillow spray is probably your answer. Well, where can I actually get my hands on this and learn more? Because like you said, <laughs> I didn't think about uh, the sense of smell either, but now that I do, I wanna make sure to take care of that. Yeah, absolutely. So what people can do is if they go to www.thisworks.com, they'll find it right there. And do you have any other last tips that you can give us now that we know uh, how to take care of the aroma? Well, I, one of the big things I tell people all the time is have a consistent, consistent sleep schedule. Waking up at the same time is going to be one of the most important factors, even on the weekends. I know that stinks and people want to sleep in on the weekends, but even if you sleep as much as 30 minutes, your whole entire biological clock wants to shift, and we really want to avoid that because that's what makes Monday morning really, really difficult. So consistent sleep schedule, number one, and number two, within 30 minutes of waking up, get sunlight. So it turns out that sunlight turns off the melatonin faucet in your brain, which definitely can lead to a little bit of that morning fog. So consistent bedtime, sunlight in the morning, pillow spray at night, and you are good to go. Look at that. You have covered everything. Doctor, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.